So I was doing my math homework. Yes, we still have math during the baloney, and I saw 10% and an hour. Yes, since I have no creativity, I have to result to my math homework to get ideas. But the point is, I am going to be making a game with 10% of an hour. Not only do big brain people know that 10% of an hour is 6 minutes. That's just science. Wait, is science math? So as always, you gotta make a new project. As Aristotle once said, the project came before the game. Or did the game come before the project? I really don't know at this point, but we gotta do what we gotta do and- So since I only have 6 minutes... Uh... Square. Sorry Square, I only chose you because you're the easiest to make. I know you're practically worshipped on other channels. Boom! Square! This square is looking THICK! But not here. So I was thinking to hop down movement. At the time, I was thinking some red squares that if you touch, you die or something. That ended up being a stupid idea, but it also ended up being singular, not plural. It turns out that if you have no time management skills for school, then you don't have time management skills anywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm such a failure. I did not come into this prepared. I didn't even need to say that. I hope that it is self-evident, or else you guys are some dumb pieces of- <laughs> We have some crap, uh, I mean, beautiful top-down movement. It's quality gameplay, am I right, boys? No. This should win some sort of innovation award. I'm serious. It's seriously never been done before. Apple, if you're looking for some more innovative employees, you know, <laughs> hit me up, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I then made a script. I wouldn't even call it a script just because I simplified it so hard to fit within the time frame. Um, the script included some really, really basic movement. And when I say really, I mean really basic. And I was able to finish the game right on the nose of the timer. Now, I was so proud that I finished my game that I asked people in my Discord server, join it by the way, whether they thought the game was cool. Well, now they have mysteriously disappeared from my Discord server, um, but you don't need to know how. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't need to know. Okay, what you need to know is that my game is absolutely tremendous, stupendous, remarkable, exceptional. I am definitely not reading off of this thesaurus right now. Absolutely not. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you shut up, you little- now, not completely satisfied with the results, I mean, I never said it was a good game, however, I decided to cut myself a deal. I would give myself just 4 more minutes, which quickly turned into 10, which turned into an hour, and then the whole day, and then 2020, and then the rest of my life. Um, damn, I really felt that. Wow. Just some FYI, from this point on, I think I made the game worse. So yeah, that's always the end goal. You always want to make your game worse. It's it's what you work towards in life. So we begin by adding some post-processing. If I don't mention post-processing in every video I ever post, I will be quite surprised because post-processing is literally my lord and savior. If I didn't have it, my games would look like ass. I mean, not to undercut the statement that they do look like ass, because they do look like ass. I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm not gonna go anywhere with this. Now, there was something just off and bland about our square, and I think it's about time that we ascend our fellow square. Wow, that's perfection. I then added a camera to follow our hero, which isn't much of a hero, it's more of a square if you're catching on to what I'm trying to say here. So the final thing I wanted to do was add epic gun and some actual versatile movement to lay the base for a future top-down shooter game. So first things first, we're going to need to scrap the square. We're going to be replacing it with a circle. So much better, the technology has improved so much. Second, we add shooting, because shooting cool. So now that we have a cool shooting system, it's time to add another enemy. Now, in my last video, I created a few enemies for my platforming game. But this time around, since I've never made an enemy like this, I can't just reuse some code. That really is a shame, mainly just because I'm a lazy bum. But uh, regardless of who I am, it's still a shame. The last thing I wanted to do was add a laser enemy that rotates round and round with, well, a laser thingy. But there was one problem. One thing that was stopping me 
from doing this task. Me. <laughs> yeah, pretty ironic. Luckily, I found this amazing tutorial and I'll leave a link to it below. And wow, he is looking very lasery, I must say. Now, he may not look very menacing, but if you traverse in his laser, you will be incinerated. Well, that was a metaphor, okay? Don't judge me. Now, this is the time to thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Thanks for that, but now, the amazing people at Restless Corp Game Studios are allowing me to repay you. I have five Steam keys to give away to you guys, which will give you access to their newest title, Restless Hero, a stunning pixel art dungeon adventure. You will traverse the dark ages and experience the beautiful art and fluidity of the game. All you have to do to enter is click the link below, in which I will be giving away four of the five Steam keys. If you want a chance to win the fifth Steam key, join my Discord server with the link below and go to the giveaways channel and enter there. Anyways, I really cannot thank the devs at Restless Corp enough for this amazing opportunity, and I'm sure that you guys will enjoy the game. If you want me to make this into a full shooter experience, let me know. Maybe I can even make it into a mobile game. I, I'm just saying, you know, I'm putting it out there. In my last video, I asked for video ideas, and you guys came through in my discord server so thank you so much for that also thank you again for 200 subscribers also i post sneak peeks in my discord server and my twitter so check them out if you liked the video smash like if you didn't like the video smash like and maybe just maybe even smash subscribe all right stay safe and i'll see you in the next one